Building an indie business in the center of venture capital, I am Alex Edmonds. People on the internet, they call me Supreme Rumham, and this is the Building an Indie Business podcast, recorded in the Indie Business Studio. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about my solution to the product description issue that I was having, or that I've been having. So... I've talked about my issue, what I think is the solve, and how I solved this issue that I was having. So, let's get into it. So, to reiterate, the problem was that um, I was having issues making the product descriptions long enough for SEO. So, uh... I watched this video on SEO on YouTube, and it said that the average first result on Google had an average uh, description or writing whatever words on the page of 1,890. So I wanted to add 1,800 or at least 1,800 words to uh, my paintball product descriptions. And I had like three or four hundred, like the most I had was like 700, right? So then I needed to figure out how to extend these product descriptions with words. And I, I don't know anything about paintball. And so I just had to figure out how to make the descriptions longer. And the advantage here is that like when you look up the paintball products that I have on the website, they're all the same. So that gives me an advantage as well, having a different product description, especially because Google uh, penalizes, you know, the same content. So having different content, that makes it a little more unique and more likely to rank first, right? Correct. You're correct, Alex. You're totally right. And then so in the next episode... I talked about the solutions I had and the ideas I had, but I hadn't implemented anything. So the solutions I had were to add like specific topics and treat it like revenue research, where the topics that I was thinking of writing about were the instructions, the reviews, available colors, what comes in the box, add links to compatible products, um, add product dimensions, uh, frequently asked questions, and then history of the company. And so I do that. I definitely add compatible products, and then I link to the products that I'm selling on the website as well. So that gives me internal links um, for SEO, and that makes it all better. And I just give it a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, yes. So what I've been doing is I take the manual that I find um, and I take the installation instructions of each product and I add that and that gives me like a thousand words yeah and so now I have I went from 300 to 1300 right away right and then when I'm struggling or no I'll also add the assembly and disassembly instructions and that gives me another maybe 300 words so now I'm at 1600 um, okay and then when I'm really struggling I have my 300 words right that I have written it's all original and you know I can expand that in any way because I don't want to expand the instructions and maybe mess something up and then someone comes to the website and then, um, you know, they blame me for giving the wrong instructions to them. So, uh, the first thing I want to say, uh, actually, about the instructions is the reason why I put the instructions is because people are going to buy this paintball gun and then they're going to need instructions about how to install it. So then they'll come back to Ultimate Paintball Guns and look at the instructions, and that also creates more traffic, right? Okay. And then, so, I have my original content, and, you know, I've written, like, crazy things. 
Uh, let's look at what I have right now for one of the products. Uh, it's quick. You can get the latest uh, Empire Super Freak Barrel Kit. Using the Empire Super Freak Barrel Kit makes a consistent accurate shot for your paintball marker. The sized aluminum inserts fit any ball dimension to create the perfect board of paint match, which equates to less paint breakage, greater air efficiency, and greater accuracy. See, I have no idea what any of that means, right? It means something. People understand it, but I have no idea. So this is where I get those extra 200 words. Um, I take it to a AI content writer and I take those 200 words and I just hit um, expand, right? So the AI content generator has different features and so it would expand a product description. So that, what I hate about the product description is it's like 300 characters, like that's nothing. Anyways, so let's do that all together. So I take whatever the hell I just said, and then I add that to the product description. And, uh, oh, it's 400 characters. So that's 366 characters, 336, sorry. And it gives me the option of doing the tone professional, Professional, bold, playful, first person, third person. Okay. And then it gives me, yeah, that's it. And then I click generate inspiration. And then it gives me more. It gives me more stuff. It'll give me like 100 words, right? So that's more than what I had before. And then if I want to expand it, I'm going to use a new feature. I'm going, or a different feature, not a new feature even though this is all new to me and it's just like the long form content writer um ai content writer and then i wait for it to load because it's very slow it's it's very slow it's very slow okay and then i copy and paste the new product description that they gave me i put it in the um, the long form writer and I just hit write for me and it goes from the whatever it is the 60 words and sometimes it'll give me 200 words sometimes the 200 words won't make sense so I have to you know edit that or take something out and maybe it goes from 200 to 175 that's more than the 336 characters that I had. So that that brings me up from, you know, the 1400 to, you know, maybe 575. Um, yeah, that's one thing that I do. And then for reviews, what I do is I go to YouTube and I watch videos and sometimes people will like a, I, I look at two YouTubers specifically um, and sometimes they they interview other people about that product and I just take like what everyone is saying and I add that to the description so like a lot of people will say the, the shot is smooth I'll add that They'll also say that it's comfortable in your hands, the, the paintball gun. I'll add that. Um, and that gives me like 50 words, right? It's not a lot, but it adds more to what um, I'm, what I need, right? And then so for compatible products, what I do is I add products I know that will definitely work with the gun or the other product that I am selling. So for this paintball barrel product that I've been talking about in this episode. The compatible products in the description are a gun, a paintball gun, um, 
another paintball gun, same brand too. Um, and then I add a um, a helmet for your head so you don't get shot in the eye. And then so for a gun, I will add the another like. So there's different types of guns. There's like the the like sniper gun, and then I'll also add a pistol to the product or to the compatible products. I'll add a pistol. I'll add the barrel, and I'll add the goggles or the helmet, right? And that gives me I don't know like fifty another 50 words, maybe 25, but, um, the internal links is what I'm going for there. Okay. And then let's talk about the SEO product that I found. So, uh, originally I was using Yoast, which comes out of the box for, um, for WordPress, because this is all on WordPress, right? So I didn't like it though. It wasn't very descriptive it didn't really help me a lot so i found this other one called rank math math rank rank math and it gives me a score right away so i have a score on this barrel product the empire super free kit and the score is 79 and then it gives me a bunch of things that i need to do to make my score longer so or make my score greater so right now I have 1290 words and that's yellow it's not green and like if I make it green maybe it'll be 82 right so that's a lot so I would move on after that and then my keyword density is 0.62 right now and it says my keyword which is Empire Super Freak um it says it appears eight times so if i get that keyword density to one um it'll give me a higher score so with the uh with my word count green and my keyword density to one that might give me a score of 85 right so that's that's green so i might leave it out to out to that but there's also another thing I could do there's also it's giving me three errors so the other error is no outbound links were found link out to external resources so what I can do here is I can add a link to the manual where I found the instructions and that way I'm giving credit no one's saying I stole this and um, I get my outbound link and that maybe wouldn't give me maybe another three points. So I'm at 85. Now I'm at 88 with the outbound link. And then we found zero outbound links in your content and all of them are no follow. So here, what I can do is I can make those outbound links do follow and that maybe makes my score 90, right? And then my title, my title isn't up to date or it's not optimized the way they like it so my title is empire super freak kit and then cocker cocker threads in um, brackets so what they want me to do is your seo title doesn't contain a number so what i can do here is i can just add like 2022 to my my title and the reason why I would add 2022 is because Google likes content that's up to date. And by putting 2022, um, that's like the most recent year, obviously. And so Google knows with that in my title, this is an up to date article. And we should rank it first because people look for more recent data. So by having it 2022, Google knows that this is recent and people might be looking for it more than they would be looking for something in like 2018, right? Um, 2018 BC, before Corona. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically what I do. Um, the, the majority of my work is in the manual. 
So if you have a short manual like I've had for the Empire Super Freak, um, it's a little difficult. Um, but there's stuff there and I just need to figure it out uh, because this isn't easy, right? If it was easy, everyone would do it. And if it's easy, there's no point in doing it, uh, if you ask me at the very least. So, okay. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.